BDIs? Should we do a BDI episode? My name is Jimmy. His name is Jake. And this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake, how are you? Jim Zach. Doing well, man. Mid of September and... Uh there's a lot of sports. There's guys. Uh, should we tell them what's coming? There's sports, not sports, more sports, almost a breakdown, weekly dumb intro. It's not that order. I think you went past beady eyes. You were eyes closed. <laughs> yeah, they closed. The sports to start. Twins cut Derek Bender three, two, two one, one six and a half. Yeah. After catcher told opposing hitters the incoming pitch, uh, which I know pitchers usually hate yeah. when the catcher does that. Uh, and it feels like the whole team and organization hated that because he got cut after he got drafted last year. The first two innings, I think the pitcher's name was Dunn. Went one, two, three, one, two, three. And if they won, they moved on in the postseason or something like that. And if they lost, it ended their season. The Lakeland players, We've been- a bunch of fucking rats. Like, have you ever seen Bull Durham when Crash tells the the batter, he says, this is fastball, and then he hits it, and then the batter stares, and he says, I give you a gift like that, and you're going to show me up? He was giving you the pitches. You're padding stats. And then you go tell your manager, hey, guess what, manager? Their catcher told us all the pitches. The players wouldn't say that, right? That's what the article said. Then the manager went across to the other managers. The manager has to do that. Oh, yeah. That's part of the manager's responsibility. Yeah. So those players are rats. Also, Derek Bender, bad teammate. Yeah, it seems like he doesn't want to play baseball yeah and i don't think he's gonna so i'm actually relieved for him what are you gonna what are you gonna put that side by side with the broke back mountain gif jim this almost a breakdown the greatest play sequence in history the loudest eruption we've ever had in the warehouse comes from this play now it's floorball we drafted a rule that you can pull the goalie. The goalie can gr- leave the crease, grab a stick and play. But if he wants to go back into goal and make a save, he has to dis- throw all the equipment. Our guy, Joe's McFly, leaves. He runs up. He gets a shot attempt off. Right. Then has to run back to make the save. He throws his equipment. Rose calls it a yard sale in front of the net. He's got a yard sale in front of him. He makes a save on the goal line. His back foot saves the goal, grabs the ball, bounces it right to Lou. Now, this team had a professional women's hockey player, Hannah, and Johnny Laz, who's a pro or college hockey player. Like, they had a lot of talent. They were the hockey players. But it was Joes and Lou who teamed up for a game-tying goal. The... The place erupted. It was a the most beautiful thing of like, our guys made the play. It was the dumb rule we came up with exactly hoping for this to happen. That's why I think you see Jack Doyle's reaction. Right. Even if you don't like Joe's or Lou, which you should. Watch this. Down a goal. Game saving save. Game tying pass. Game scoring goal. And Hannah runs into Joe's arms and he holds you her like up. like this a lot. They met that morning. Right. <laughs> to be celebrating right. like that. They, they met that morning. It's awesome. Joe's uh, CC Sabathia like roar replay the roar is, is really good. good. Have fun with the roar, Zach. Yeah, boy. Go watch the floorball tournament. It's It gets better and better. It just keeps getting better. Oh, what a glad man. Two songs. And DraftKings told you what? DraftKings. A sponsor. A friend. I'm going to get back in in the action soon. Playoffs coming up. Big time. More sports, please. Joy in Mud. Zach's autobiography. 50 years of mud football's been going on in New Hampshire. Three, two, one, four. Four. No, I don't like the zero. Wow. Zero points. I don't like when they they came over here and they just put new in front of existing names. New Hampshire. This will be the new London. It's no, it's not even close, Jim. At first, I was skeptical. I've seen mud. We've talked about college campuses doing mud things. Oh, we're fell on each other. We're honking horns. This is 50 years of New Hampshire people. we got people that have played in this for 20 years, and they're, like, covered in mud. <laughs> yeah, this is not... The picks are, like, crazy. Yeah, it's the best episode of Friday Night Lights. Top 10, the mud ball. This is a pool. There's a pool of mud. It's too liquidly, liquidy. But the guy who does the interview, he gives the quote about how the mud gets everywhere, Zach. I'll do his words. You just show his face. It gets in the eye. You get cracks in your feet and you get mud in your toenails for weeks. You get it in your ears too. You'll be cleaning out your ears for a long while. You'll be blowing your nose and you'll get some dirt and you're like, oh, I didn't know I still had that there. That makes me not want to do it. Puddle of Mud should be the band there. Uh, out of their league. Who's out of whose league? Hmm. Sound off in the comments. 
That song changed you. Okay, what about this uh, not sports then, at least? Not sports. Oh, another serious. Zach story. Why you always lying? The not sports is a serious issue. This is kind of. This homeowner. Can't do this. Has the most crystal clear security cam you'll ever see. And this man went into their driveway, took a cucumber out of his lunchbox, and then um, cleaned it off. Or he was cleaning his butthole. I don't know which was clean and what. Maybe it was pleasure based. I'm not sure, but he shoved that cucumber up his butt and then started bouncing on the car. Don't bounce. That's what he was doing. Don't bounce. And then he he called it quits. Said I got I got my fill. Right. Walked around the car and realized nah, yeah, that felt I really good. like that. So he goes for a second round. This time, not as hidden. And the security camera's right on him, and there's a shot where he looks at the security camera and he goes, oh. Hmm. Um, but he still continues to clean that cucumber off and then puts it back into the lunch box and then goes on his way. The part that I found interesting was the way he did it on the hood of the car. Like that? He lodged the cucumber into the grill of the car, essentially, and then... Did the hopping. Yeah, bouncing. So that means he's done this on a few cars before. Yeah. Gets it's the employee, employee of the week. week. It's the employee Not of the week. alive, but helpful. It's our new couch. And this is, maybe you would say preemptive because it hasn't done anything, but already by getting rid of the old couch, it's done a lot. Ryan's dancing. Keep staring, Zach. Is he going to turn his head? Oh, Unbelievable. perfect entry and exit. And that's why the couch won. That was the Weekly Dumb. This episode of the Weekly Dumb was brought to you by DraftKings. TD, Tutty, taking it to the house. Whatever you call a touchdown, they matter more at the DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sportsbook partner of the NFL. Right now, all new customers who bet just $5 will instantly get 250 in bonus bets plus one month of NFL Plus Premium. Now that's something we can all celebrate. Stay in on the action and use your 250 in bonus bets to bet any. Time touchdowns on DraftKings, which is the place to bet touchdowns. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use promo code DUMB. I just have a really good puddle of mud clip. That I like. You like blurry or she fucking hates me? Which one do you like better? Uh, Blurry. Yeah. Oh, Everything's so blurry. The occupied with <laughs> Minka Kelly was in the puddle of mud video, and Minka Kelly was in the Friday Night Lights mud bowl. And she fucking hates me. La, 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 la. You guys closed with that at the July Amphitheater. Oh, okay.